Hi guys, this is me and today I will be vlogging. Uh, so it's Friday and I'm going cross country schooling today because I've now finished school because I finished my GCSE so anybody's wondering that's why I'm not at school anymore so I'm able to make more videos and do more fun things like going cross country schooling. I actually haven't been cross country since last year which seems crazy to me like while I was having my exams, I was having like cross country withdrawal symptoms. Like I've missed cross country so much. And also I haven't been able to take Casper out to many sort of jumping clinics or shows or competitions just because school work's just been so much and things like that. And also with all the building work, we actually haven't been able to get the trailer out over the winter just because um, all the diggers have been in the way or things like that. So I'm really excited to go today. <laughs> strawberry tops. Let's pop them on there. I know some people don't like um, giving their guinea pigs lots of fruit. We really don't give them that much. Like, literally it's only the tops of different bits of fruits or peels like apple peel. Like that's really it. So yeah because it's got quite a high sugar content but looks like they're all in really enjoying the strawberries. Also, we've recently got this um, sort of log bridge sort of tunnel thing for them, but, um, which they've really enjoyed because their weather has just been so hot recently. So they've been going under there to get in the shade, even though we've tried to sort of pull their hut into the shade. And they've also got like a little old pink picnic blanket on there to keep them all shady. So, yeah. Oh, that went quick. So also, hopefully it will last a bit longer compared to the tunnels that they've had before just because um, they used to like just sort of sitting and pooing in it so they can't really do that with this so that's good if you're wondering this is my brother's old plate when he was like a baby that we used and it actually works really well so we just sort of use that they're so far away I need to go down and get Casper bring him up so that's what we'll just do now so Casper's just in his stable chilling he's now all groomed and everything and I just need to get all my tack ready. I'm going to be using my two-point air jacket today. So now I just need to attach my lanyard to my saddle. And I've got my lanyard attached, so that's all good. And obviously for cross-country I'll need my helmet and body protector. So I think we've got everything. We're ready to go.
guys, I'm back now from cross country. Casper was so good, and even though we haven't like done cross country since last summer, which I was like so happy with him, even though we just did like smallish jumps, we didn't do anything like massive. Obviously, we haven't done it for a while, so we were both a little bit rusty, but by the end he was flying and I was so happy with him so I'm really excited for the rest of the summer I've actually had a shower because my hair was like wet from the rain because it started like raining as soon as we finished like riding it's, it was wet from sweat from riding and then had a shower and we actually went to Starbucks and did some errands and things like that so now I am actually going to flatten the school I currently have a rake with me because I'm going to just rake up the school slash grooming box. I've had it as long as I've had Mickey, so about eight years now. I'm thinking of spray painting it, so first I just need to wash it. I've actually spray painted underneath it. Here, it's in silver, and I thought that would look so cool because it would match my stirrups. So um, I just need to prep it first because I've watched actually quite a lot of YouTube video tutorials on how to spray paint plastic because obviously plastic's not very good to like paint onto. So I've got this spray paint which is designed to go on plastic and it's worked really, really well. And I haven't even prepped it yet. This is just sprayed the bottom Mickey's come to say hello. But yeah, it's worked really well and it's not like scratching off or coming off. So I'm just gonna wash the box and then prep it and then spray it. So I've got my box, it's all washed and cleaned and dried, got my special little scrubby brush here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do little circular motions with it and this just takes off the top layer of plastic and makes it all smooth and everything so then it's all prepped and ready to be sprayed. When you're spraying you should be the same distance away, it's probably too close, it's about right, okay? okay. so happy with it it turned out really really well and even on the inside and everything looks so good i think i'm gonna finish the vlog here just because i'm not really doing anything else today and it's already like a really long vlog already so i will see you guys next time for my next video bye <laughs>